Myrtle. 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 Hello everyone. Um, so, thank you for all your comments last week. Let's start this vlog with the big reveal that isn't a secret at all. You all guessed, if you watched last week's vlog, why I was going up to Liverpool and I guess the pet carrier said it all. Here is Myrtle. Myrtle, Myrtle, there's a great big audience out there, they've all guessed, they all guessed that you were on the way, you were on the way to me. This dog, oh, is adorable. So I'll put her on the floor in a moment, but what she loves is just sitting on the lap. Wherever I put her, or anyone, she will just immediately sit on people's lap. She loves it. And, um, yes. Shall we put you down so everyone can see what you look like? Shall we? All right. She wants to get on the sofa. <laughs> My slippers, I mean, seriously, this has not been... If Anna could see this, what I am going to show you is Anna training her. So, the night I brought her back from Liverpool, um, Anna came and spent four hours playing with her and training her so that Myrtle already, at eight weeks, does a sit. Don't you? Yes. Shall I put you down so I can talk to everybody properly? Mm -hmm. you, you go there, you sit on my lap. So, there we go, good girl. Um, so yes, I know everything, everyone will probably want to see you, where can I? Okay, let me do it so you can all watch her at the same time as watching me. Did you come here? Where are you going to go? You're going to go there. Yeah, I'm wearing my tracksuit bottom, which I very, very seldom wear um, in front of all of you. So, yeah, let me tell you a little bit about Myrtle. Um, she comes from the same uh, pedigree as the same stud kennel as Matilda and um, that was important for me and I know that uh, it's very controversial, bulldogs are extremely controversial because of their health issues and I absolutely get it and I've done quite a few features on it on my radio show obviously on Barking at the Moon um, but Matilda lived to almost 14 years of age, which for a bulldog is amazing. I know this um, line of pedigree extremely well. I, I, quite a few bulldogs in my life come from this particular uh, stud kennel. Um, but also, um, I, I've learned so much from doing a dog show for 13 years, nearly 14 years, um, that I think, and this is famous last words, I think I can keep her healthy and um, give her a really healthy life. As much as anyone can with a puppy, it's, you know, you never know, do you? But let's just hope she's going to have um, a long, lovely life. So I know there'll be comments saying, you know, you shouldn't buy flat-nosed dogs. I know that, and um, I'll take that on board. But I absolutely love bulldogs. I love their characters, and I think if you can find a bulldog that comes from a very healthy background, isn't too wrinkled, and if you look at Myrtle's face, she hasn't got a very squashed-up face, and she's got lovely long legs, and she's square, she sits really well. Um, anyway, I just, 
I just want her to have a lovely life and I want all dogs to have a lovely life. Um, now the other thing is, should I have got her so soon after Matilda and that was the biggest dilemma because she will never ever be Matilda and her breeder knows that. Her breeder said, you know, she's not going to be Matilda Jo but she will fill a void and um, oh my gosh, already she has to be quite honest and you know, it's as though she knows she has to be good because when I got her I just thought I probably will resent her and I probably won't like her very much and I'll probably have to grow to love her but she has been so good that and maybe it's because Anna came here on the first night and just you know said this is you should do this this and this and she's just I crate her so she sleeps in a crate at night and when I go out she's in a crate and she just has her toys and a con filled with food at the moment and I know that they go through phases but at the moment she's fine um, and I leave the crate door open so she goes in and out but anyway that's Myrtle who knows what our journey is going to be like and um, I I loved all your comments because I was so apprehensive I was reading them last week and I thought you would say what are you doing you know your poor Matilda is just what is it a month away from being here in this living room with me but she is still here I honestly believe she's still here and I think this is why Myrtle's being so good there is I will tell you another time what happened when I was at my mum's which makes me think Myrtle is channeling Matilda and I know you're all, those of you who aren't dog lovers will now go, right, I've had enough turning this woman off. But those of you who are dog lovers, you might understand what I'm on about. Anyway, I'm not going to change my life for Myrtle. She has to fit in with me and I have a very busy life, but she will never be neglected. She is never going to be left for hours, I promise you that. I have loads of support and I will get on with my life and most of it, she will come with me. And, in fact... I am going to be going out to Claridge's for my annual Christmas dinner with Simon Lysett and his husband Nick. So yeah, but there will be someone here looking after her because she's still very young. Anyway, on with the blog. Might do a montage of Myrtle somewhere on the blog. Oh, I must put a picture of her with Mutti. I think I filmed a tiny bit of her with Mutti. I took her down there at the weekend and, oh my gosh, just to see Mutti's face, because she went and sat on her lap. All right. Okay, on with the vlog. Get these tracksuit bottoms off. So I am off to our annual Christmas dinner. Myself, Simon Lysett and his husband Nick. We always do this um, at Christmas. Well, we didn't last Christmas, obviously. Um, it's at Claridge's. And um, for me, it's a strange night because Anna is in my flat um, because I needed her to come round to babysit. <laughs> so she's there. Um, in my flat with her dog and another dog and um, thank heavens because uh, otherwise I wouldn't be able to go out <clears throat> but yes very much looking forward to this this is like the first time I've had a proper like meal or anything out really for ages actually I, you know I, I go out and see shows and leave at the interval because of my show but this is the first time that I can sit down and have a nice meal with them Anyway, uh, sometimes they let me vlog them and sometimes they don't. See what happens today. Simon. I haven't got a glass in there. I know. It's like... Have you cleaned that lens? I could, I could write my name in that lens. Film. In the middle. So they get in the middle with the starter? So yeah, I think there's food they don't even make anymore. On that Simon, lens. what do we do? We're not on air on Christmas Day. I know, Joe, we're not. The nation, the listening nation the listening, are they, going they, to feel 
Well, it's going to be a hollow sham for them as they rootle through their stockings, isn't it? What are they, they going to miss out on? I mean, Simon and I are always on air. On He's doing his... He's doing his crowd and the parsnips. Yeah. Chimoke and her Christmas cake. I know, normally I give you a little drop of bread pudding. You do, you bring bread, it, you do, sauce. you prepare the whole That's of the, the Christmas. You don't, just not. And Nick and his. Well, I, oh gosh, that's okay. Oh, I, uh, I, I won't have to do any cooking, so that's <coughs> marvellous. <laughs> he is always in charge of the boat. Where, I mean, you're going to be at home. Um, we will be at home in a heap in South London, and I will be, I won't have anyone to say it's time to expose your breast now, live on air. And you won't be running away from a really very ardent, hardcore fan. No, I won't. I'm going to whisk you to the safety of your your chariot. <laughs> I used to head off to deepest, darkest Brexit land. But we will be obviously communicating with one another we will. at Christmas. And um, probably we'll be sharing a few bombos with all our lovely, loyal friends and fans over the coming days and weeks. And we have plans for the new year. Oh yes. So you need Always. to watch this space. We'll Always say no got more. Plans. Always have a plan B. <laughs> <laughs> Just as. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, is that being at the stock pot, isn't it? <laughs> What's that? It's a parmesan and courgette salad. Oh, wow. Oh, I love these. Good. I remember these little sprouts from last year. Have you got the rest of it? Pretty much. So it's very, very stock -locked. Very light. Very light. <laughs> light supper on a Friday night. Myrtle, you're already meeting your fans. Who is this? Rachel. Rachel, you've I'm come a long up. you've come a long way actually. I've come all the way from Nantwich. Nantwich. Especially to see Myrtle. She's come this is one of my this is one of my subscribers. Look at the state of me. You see, this is why I should never ever nip out. I look appalling. Rachel looks amazing. This is Rachel's partner. She's thinking, what the hell is going on? Do you ever watch my vlog? It's on in the background. <laughs> it's on in the background. <laughs> he doesn't understand. He doesn't understand the he fascination understand. with your life. <laughs> Not many people understand my life. So you are the first. You're the first, the first of my subscribers who's met Myrtle. Oh, she is absolutely divine. <laughs> she is gorgeous, oh. isn't she? <laughs> And can I just say, these lovely people have come down to support the theatre in London. They're down to see a uh, Christmas Carol at the Old Vic. I think you're huge fans of Stephen Mangan, is that right? Yes, huge fans. Yeah, he's fantastic. I mean, and no, no um, kudos to uh, people who do the understudies, but I hope it's Stephen. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I think it will be Stephen, totally. And they're very lucky the show's on because, as you probably realise, loads of shows in the West End are closing. Um, due to you know the situation as it is, so Christmas Carol is on everybody. So if you fancy going to see it, 
Anyway, I better take oh, her back in. She is gorgeous. <laughs> you are the first person, literally, to have met her from my YouTube channel. Thank you so it's much for coming pleasure. up. It's lovely to meet you both. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. And also, whilst we're here, you'll be able to see, look, this is Marylebone High Street. Very quiet. So Very this quiet. is Christmas week. And look. The train was quiet. Was it? Very quiet. So you're going back tonight? Yeah. yeah. Well, there we go, Myrtle. You've met Rachel. <laughs> Famous. <laughs> Oh gosh, that taught me a huge lesson. Oh, has it? Sorry, everybody. I um, I run around. I run down to the supermarket, and then I run around down Marylebone High Street, looking dreadful. Um, and I'm stopped. God, I, listen to me. I'm not stopped all the time, but I often meet you on Marylebone High Street, and I should learn my lesson. It's always the men are stood by the women, literally mystified, thinking, who is this person that my partner is talking to? Um, and the women are always very forgiving, because the first thing I always say is, look, I look dreadful, I'm so sorry. And they always go, no, no, it doesn't matter. In fact, let me show you what I'm wearing today. I live near American Vintage, and American Vintage is very sloppy and I like it for when I'm at home. I wear a lot of American vintage. So I am wearing, and this is really old, an American vintage, I wonder if I go into the, oh, I know, I can show you here. Uh, so yeah, an American vintage uh, lamb's wool, very baggy lamb's wool sweater. And then American vintage joggers, which are lovely, they're lamb's wool so I can roll them up, and um, my Argentinian slippers. This is my day-to-day -day attire, and then I put a red lip on if I can't be bothered putting eye makeup on. Um, and this is how I slob around. Uh, and that's how I run up and down the high street with my Fiorucci puffer jacket on, which actually is very bright and very identifiable. Um, so yes, and I am slobbing around because I am preparing for a little soiree before my show tonight. Hang on a moment, where is Myrtle? Myrtle, see if she comes to her name. Myrtle, 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 Myrtle. There, come on. This is her crate next to my bed. Good girl, Myrtle, come and say hello. I oh, love your good. sweater. That I love your dress. No, it's trousers. Look. How is it? Oh, yes. I couldn't and, see. <laughs> if I just keep my legs together, then <laughs> that'll be a novelty. <laughs> right. Doesn't she wear makeup well? Yeah, you look that. amazing. Yeah. Thank you very Honestly, much. Honestly, so you got to listen to her over Christmas, okay? Oh, definitely. <laughs> Um, right, I'm going to open the Prosecco, or do you want a gin and tonic? Oh, do you know what, if, if you're opening a bottle of bubbly... Are you sure? Because I've got out. London. Mr. Binks! I love your dress, Anna. Oh, thank you. You've seen it before. Oh, Come on in. I'm coming in. How lovely. Oh, look, it's, it's Philippe. It's Philippe. <laughs> Have you ever met Philippe? Not in real life, no. <laughs> <laughs> look how amazing Alice looks. Everyone knows Mel. Mel worked with me, worked with Big George, he's been on The Late Show, which is my present show. For how many years, Mel? Uh, the Late Show, well, originally, that was ten years ago, Joe, for three years. Ten years ago. Um, and he is on The Late Show now. And to get Mel to come to a social event, he's like me, he's incredibly antisocial. This is Mel. You don't know Philippe. Philippe is my editor for my YouTube. Oh my God, sorry, this is Mel. I've just been <laughs> oh yes. Stunning. So we've got the window open. Everybody is masked. Oh. Don't. Can't believe you're going to Portugal. I know. When are you off tomorrow? When are you going to edit this? I'm working tomorrow. How are you going to edit this? We, well, we're not going to listen. We have to leave early. We're going to go to do a show. Exactly. We can't go. You and Alice can stay here. Yeah, Anna. Yeah, 
it's a halty training lead, Joe, which is going to really help you train Myrtle to walk to here. Um, I can demonstrate it later if you'd like. Fantastic. Yes, please. Thank you, Anna. Thank you. We'll get you a drink. Now, here's Mr. Binks. He's going to put his antlers on. Yes, he is. And he'll take you. He's in his posh lead. Will you look lovely. You look lovely. There, George the producer. Yes. This is my last day in London. I'm doing a show tonight and then I drive down to my mum's. Grey old day, but I'm heading over with Myrtle to Hackney to have brunch at Jim's Caff with Anna. And um, it's in Chatsworth Road, the very, 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 very groovy Chatsworth Grove. Chatsworth Road, sorry, not Grove. Oh, need to do, need to. Myrtle is so far being good. She's in her carry case, uh, strapped down. Put them in prison. Oh, oh, turn that off. Um, and she's, she's, I, I drive her around a lot because the last thing I want is for her to be car sick. Are you fed up with Myrtle yet? I promise you the next vlog, she's not going to feature so heavily. Uh, right, okay, over to Hackney. This is our Christmas treat to each other, cake and coffee in Hackney. I'm down with the Karuvi people. That was a fantastic brunch. It's raining now. Gosh, it's only like two o'clock in the afternoon. I'm at the Angel in Islington. Um, it was lovely to be in Hackney. And um, do you know, the funny thing is, I Instagrammed a shot when we were in the cafe, and um, loads of you noticed Myrtle in a bag under my arm, and I hadn't even thought she was in the picture. You are so astute, um, and I love your support. I Honestly, you've all been so supportive, and all of you who've had dogs in your life, and then you get another dog, you know what it's like, and you're very apprehensive, but, and I know I've filled this vlog with Myrtle. I promise you next week, there'll be very little of her. Um, it's just that her breeder will be watching this as well. Chris, if you're watching, you've done a really good job on her. She's an absolute joy, so thank you, Chris. 30 miles per hour speed limit camera ahead. I'm, I know, it's 30 miles per hour. Um, and so that's it. Um, I will, uh, tomorrow should be, uh, I should be taking my mum, when you see this, I should be taking my mum to the local Panto if it's still on this afternoon. If you're Go watching this on Sunday. Go the me. next set, turn left. Um, and um, I know where I am now. I don't actually need that sat nav. Um, and what else? Have a great holiday. Hopefully you're having a great time. Um, again, your support, the people, oh. do you know the reason I, I'm offered collaborations without looking for them is because of the engagement of you to my channel. You really engage in it. You all engage with each other. Oh. I mean, it's extraordinary, so thank you. And I want you all to have a great holiday. I am turning left. So that is it. I will see you next Sunday. Enjoy the rest of your holiday. Thank you. I promise there will, will not be so much of Myrtle in next week's vlog. Um, and um, yeah, have a rest. Go for walks. Eat loads of food. That's what I plan on doing. Oh, we got some walkers. We got some walking people in Carnaby Street with the lights up. Hopefully after this. And Philippe's, Philippe's in Portugal. So Philippe, I hope you're able to even edit this. 
see you next Sunday. Bye. I'm walking.